What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again. And today I am here with probably the most requested video till date to me from so many people. What are the symptoms of a terrible, afflicted, miserable, debilitated, downtrodden Venus? <laughs> I made this video series on every other planet and now I'm back with Venus. And I have to partition my screen in two parts because there are so many symptoms. My God. <laughs> so this time I have made notes. Okay. So welcome to 20 symptoms of a terrible Venus. Okay. We will also see how to work on it later. Okay. The remedies part. But that's not the hallmark of this video. Hallmark of this video is to know how your Venus is terribly placed or not. All right, if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it, then please subscribe to it somewhere here. And if you want a personal consultation, then please go to my website below with license and schedule a consultation. And if you like this video, which you will obviously like, <laughs> of which I have no doubt, then please like it at the end. You can start liking from now also. And please share this video with those who think that their Venus is very good. Okay. Or share it with them who feels that their Venus is not very good. <laughs> okay, so let me start by saying God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll be there. Okay. What is the first symptom that your Venus is afflicted? It's not very good. I don't care. It's in Virgo. It's in Pisces. It is with Saturn or Rahu or Ketu or Sun, Moon, Mars, Jupiter. It doesn't matter. If these symptoms are manifesting, then it's in trouble. Okay. Well, to some extent, these symptoms will manifest in everybody because nobody has a perfect Venus. But we have to check till what extent is this happening. Okay. And if we feel that most of them are happening, well, then there's some serious problem. And of course, the whole chart has to be seen. And this is not an astrological video on... How to know if your Venus is afflicted, okay? Which means I'm not going to tell here when your Venus is afflicted, how it is good, how it is not good, all those pros and cons. That is not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is to observe your own life and then understand, all right, if Venus is afflicted. So now, I have 20 reasons listed here. But before these 20 reasons, there is one reason which is the topmost of all reasons which does not come under this list <laughs> and that is the root cause of all problems associated with venus that is the ultimate root because of that the other 20 problems which you will see now will appear <laughs> so if none of these 20 is appearing and if the first one is there okay first one means the zeroth one <laughs> Then let me ensure you, the other 20 will appear very soon. All right. So what is the zeroth? The first? No, 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 no. Zeroth. <laughs> what is the topmost of all symptoms of an afflicted Venus? Or a debilitated Venus? Yes. Guess what? Oh my God. Maybe divorces, breakups, right? No, it has nothing to do with the opposite sex or relationships. The biggest indicator is... You have zero inquisitiveness about spirituality. Oh my God, but Jupiter rep represents spirituality. It's not Venus. I think you have come to the wrong place. Or maybe this video should have been about Jupiter. Oh, but you made that video already earlier. <laughs> no, I'm talking of Venus here. I'm not talking of Jupiter. Why? Because Venus gets exalted in Pisces, which is the sign of Moksha. So to the degree you lack fulfillment in the higher source energy, to that degree your Venus is suffering. And when that happens, you do not find fulfillment in spirituality, in God, then all these 20 symptoms below will manifest because then you are trying to fill that void using mundane objects, boy, girl, luxury, this, that. Okay, so that is the root cause of all the 20 symptoms. <laughs> so the biggest remedy for Venus Take care of spirituality. Everything will be fine. Now, let's start. All right. 
what is the first symptom i have noted it let's see what happens okay so what is the first symptom after of course knowing that you are not interested in spiritual topics okay so the first symptom is you are always unhappy you are always miserable you are never satisfied how much ever things you have in this world you always feel that no no there's something lacking now if only i had that or if only i had this look 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 that person is having this then maybe i would be happy why do i have a mercedes why not audi yes or why not a rolls royce <laughs> you are not satisfied with whatever you have this is the biggest indicator you are always hankering i want this 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 i want that anything it can be <laughs> then your venus is not very well placed in the chart what is the next thing you are always selfish you always think of yourself first oh my god am i not supposed to think about myself first then who will earn money right i have to feed myself no no i am not talking on that i am talking of a situation where even if you think of others it will not hamper your current situation but even then you prefer thinking about yourself you never think about others all right you always are selfish what is the next symptom the third symptom you always want to take rather than to give you are always thinking how can i suck out things from this situation not how can i give all right you always want to fill that void which is there inside you that is the symptom of a difficult venus now what is the next symptom you make wrong choices when it comes to selecting relationship partners oh my god now it all begins <laughs> you will say yes to the wrong people and you will say no to the right people oh my god what did he just say should i should he repeat <laughs> i will repeat it for you you will say yes to the wrong people <laughs> who will come and give you distress yes have you had the experience of people in the past whom you have been into relationships and they have taken the hell and heaven out of you <laughs> then your venus is afflicted and then do you remember those people who came and said i love you i want to get into a relationship with you i don't know i mean i have been single life long so i don't know how that thing proceeds but this is what people tell me and you will say no to the right people all right you will say no to people for no reasons <laughs> they will you will find some fault or some reason to not say yes to them because you have to suffer right because the karma has to come because if you say yes to them then you will get happiness but that cannot happen because your venus is terribly placed so you must say no to the right people right and how can you deny the wrong people you must be exploited that is why you will say yes to them all right what is the fifth symptom you are always running behind the opposite sex either before the relationship or after or maybe in both <laughs> opposite sex is your prime focus of life your day starts it goes and it ends at that point you understand <laughs> that is like the kendra bindu center the only thing you think of is the opposite sex all the time so if this is in the chart of a man then he will always be pursuing women all his life he will be messaging women he will be doing this he will be doing that trying to impress people and if this is uh, for a girl then it can mean the same thing girls will not do it directly they will do it in a subtle way <laughs> and then what happens you start to like only those people who hate you oh my god you will only accept those people who don't like you or who you have to chase if there is a good person he says i love you very much but then you will feel no man this person is not very good enough uh, i should find somebody who i should chase actually yes that is the symptom that your venus is not very well placed what is another symptom you change partners frequently you cannot 
persists through the difficulties of a relationship so then what happens you get into a relationship or you get married then there are some problems then you separate you get divorced or you break up then you go to another relationship then another problem comes okay then again you separate then there's another problem then again you separate then it goes on like this i'm not talking of the number here you are into 10 relationships or two relationships but if these symptoms are there then maybe your venus is afflicted now what is the seventh symptom seventh symptom is you cannot fall in love you are waiting for that perfect partner to come which does not exist the perfect partner does not exist because the perfect uh, person will not cheat will not lie yes will be very beautiful will be very honest and he will also not exist <laughs> so you are waiting for that perfect uh, soulmate okay and because of that you cannot get into any relationship and because of that you are single lifelong all right now somebody will uh, tell maybe it's okay to be single no i am not saying that it is bad to be single i am not saying that but if your expectations are to such a extent that human beings cannot fulfill it then your venus is afflicted all right you may be single for the rest of your life you may have some different motive in your life it's perfectly fine or you may remain a celibate you may take sannyas and go and spread spiritual knowledge i have nothing to do with that in fact it's very good if you can do that <laughs> but if you are single because your expectations are not fulfilled by anybody in this planet well then you got a serious problem okay and then there's this imaginary partner which does not exist but you are waiting for them yes you will wait till the rest of eternity probably <laughs> or you may find him or her once okay what is the eighth symptom you cannot forget those things which you should have forgotten millions of years back <laughs> the horns from the past always keep coming you cannot let go Pisces is the sign of letting go. You cannot let go. You hold on to people. Oh my God, please don't leave me. So many people I know, they are into relationships just because of one reason. The horror of being single haunts them day and night. Instead of being single, let me be with somebody who at least gives me the feeling that somebody is there with me. <laughs> so if that is your situation, you are staying in a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship or... To show the opposite sex that look 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 i have a boyfriend look 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 i have this girlfriend <laughs> well then uh, you are in serious trouble in matters to venus okay then what is the next symptom the ninth symptom and this is big you only go on looks should i repeat you only choose partners on the basis of how they look physically now physical attraction is important i am not saying that it doesn't have a role it is very important but when that becomes your only criteria well then you suffer all right because the beauty will fade off after some time what is the next symptom you cannot accept people for who they are yes you always try to change people you always want the partner to be the one you want them to be not the one which they want themselves to be yes that is why they feel choked up within the relationship and that is why they don't want to stay with you all right that means your venus is afflicted <laughs> all right what is the next symptom well this is interesting you complain you nag you criticize about your partner as soon as he does some mistake you will broadcast it in facebook or in whatsapp not directly you will give subtle indications you will share photos in whatsapp about how terrible how a terrible relationship is okay by that you are signaling people especially girls i have seen i have seen time and again okay my boyfriend did this he did that well then why you are staying just go away but that you can't do because you are also desperate right <laughs> so you are complaining oh he doesn't do this and you are nagging all the time oh you are like this you you did this 10 years back nine years back you did this eight years back you did this all right you're all the time nagging and you are reminding the opposite sex your partner of the mistakes which they did 12 years back 15 years back uh, if at all your relationship is that long or maybe what they did yesterday or 10 days back okay
ओके यू आर ऑलवेज क्रिटिसाइजिंग द पार्टनर यू आर गुड फॉर नथिंग यू आर लाइक दिस यू आर लाइक दैट ओके एंड यू आर नॉट ओनली क्रिटिसाइजिंग यू आर ब्रॉडकास्टिंग टू द एंटायर प्लानट यू आर कॉलिंग अप योर फ्रेंड्स एंड टेलिंग हो ही डिड दिस शी डिड दैट यू कैनॉट डाइजेस्ट पॉइजन दैट एबिलिटी इज नॉट देर इन यू ओके वॉट इज अनदर सिम्टम यू आर बिचिंग अबाउट द पार्टनर यू आर डिलाइटिंग इन टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज और हर फॉल्स यू आर ट्राइंग टू प्रूव अदर्स how you are doing such a great favor to the opposite sex by staying with them okay you are so great so magnanimous that you are staying with such a down trodden person yes because you are all the time bitching about them you are trying to prove that how they are unworthy of being with you and how great you are <laughs> what is the next symptom you always dominate the other person you will never give them space you will force them to do what you want to do and you will try to impose your own thoughts your likes your dislikes to the other person and the other person feels choked oh my god that's it i can't stay <laughs> what is the next symptom you have unhealthy fears and you are very insecure suppose your uh, girlfriend is talking to another man okay another person then you will start thinking oh why is she talking <laughs> or if your boyfriend is maybe chatting with one of his friends then you will start thinking oh this girl is single maybe she is not very happy that i am in a relationship with this handsome guy so maybe she is trying to hit on him right <laughs> and this rascal is giving audience to her let him come home today i will teach him <laughs> okay what is the next symptom that your venus is afflicted it is you change luxury items very frequently because venus represents luxury every one year you are changing your iphone why because the void inside you is so big that you are always trying to fill it yes <laughs> the iphone's number is increasing but your i that i represents the ego is increasing every moment yes every year these people will change iphones i have seen iphone 7 iphone 8 now iphone x has come i don't know one day iphone z will also come out so every year they will uh, go and replace it because they have to fill that void so they have to convince themselves that there's something new something exciting in this world which will give me happiness so you must buy a iphone see every year otherwise how will you be happy right so that means your venus is afflicted what is another symptom you behave indifferent in a relationship you have lost sensitivity this is big i think <laughs> the 16th symptom lost sensitivity you have become indifferent you treat your spouse like socks oh he said this i don't give a damn i don't care it doesn't matter all right or she said this so what let her say whatever she wants yes indifference basically saturn is the karaka for indifference what is the next symptom your clothes are dirty you do not iron them properly okay and your socks are dirty bad smell is coming because socks represent venus okay and the shoes represent saturn <laughs> that is why they are best friends they are always together <laughs> and your clothes are very dirty when you go near people uh, they feel as if you have not taken bath from a week or so okay what is the next symptom you are addicted to pornography oh my god recently i watched a video on of sadguru he said 70% of the internet is pornography <laughs> so now you know how many people have their venus afflicted right either you are a man or a woman and then there are all those other things uh, so many other sub porn material in the internet yes so many things which people are seeing in youtube you are addicted to sex you visit prostitutes you visit you are you are having uh, one night encounters oh my god somebody will blast me in the comments now can can't we have one night encounters well you can have but that is an indication of afflicted venus and you are addicted to losing your semen your soma your vitality unnecessarily you are spilling it out by masturbation 
all right either you are imagining or you are seeing things and then you are in that fantasy like okay this is great <laughs> so your semen which is shukra which has life you are wasting that you are not able to control you are not able to retain the flow of semen okay and it's very easy to spot these people <laughs> should i tell the technique no 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 then everybody will start judging people i will not say that in some other video maybe okay what's the next thing you cannot stay without validation from the opposite sex this is the 19th that means there are so many uh, people i know especially girls boys also but so many girls i know if a boy does not message them and uh, not necessarily the, the boyfriend but it has to be a boy yes if any boy will not message them for one day they feel there's something wrong and what they will do they will change the dp by which they will indirectly make others notice them <laughs> basically they are helplessly dependent on the affirmation from the opposite sex so these people even if they are wearing a beautiful cloth till the time the opposite sex comes and tells them oh wow you're looking so good you look so handsome you look so beautiful <laughs> they will feel no no there's something wrong maybe there's something lacking in me so these people they will directly go and ask them the opposite sex oh how am i looking <laughs> and what is the last symptom that your venus is afflicted the opposite sex always insults tortures or uses or cheats you or you behave like that with them the opposite sex insults you for no reason <laughs> and the opposite sex also tortures you they will use you yes that means you are allowing them to use you right because you are dependent on them that means your venus is probably afflicted <laughs> and also you get cheated this is like the norm of kaliuga yes so there you go 20 symptoms starting from the zero at symptom zero inquisitiveness about spirituality that is why i have put it there and then when that symptom is there all the other symptoms will manifest yes so should i do a recap again always unhappy the first the second is you're selfish thinking about yourself always then the next is you always want to take you never want to give the next is you make wrong choices in relationships you say yes to the wrong people and no to the right people the fifth is you always run behind the opposite sex you run behind those people who hate you who don't want you you love to chase people what's the sixth sixth is you change partners very frequently you cannot persist within the difficulties of the relationship and you feel that just by changing the person the things will change but that's not going to happen the next is you cannot fall in love you are in love with the imaginary person that perfect prince or that queen who is waiting <laughs> in your dreams maybe then you cannot get out of love which means if there's a breakup you cannot let go of that thing and focus on higher things that is somehow not possible for you you become handicapped handicapped you become handcuffed caged <laughs> you only go on looks the ninth the tenth you cannot accept people for who they are you try to change them yes if only he would be like this it would be so great you always complain nag and criticize your partner that is the 11th and the 12th is you bitch about them you are criticizing them and you are broadcasting their weaknesses to everybody whoever you meet you are going and telling oh he's like this she's like that especially women i have seen them doing this not much with men <laughs> then you try to dominate the other person they feel choked when they are with you they cannot be themselves all right then there is unhealthy fear and insecurities oh why are they talking maybe they are having affairs <laughs> something is cooking inside right without my knowledge then you change luxury items frequently okay every i every year you have another a new iphone then you have lost sensitivity you have become indifferent it doesn't matter now who cheats you or who loves you because you have had so many terrible experiences it doesn't matter to you anymore then you have dirty clothes 
and your clothes are not ironed and your socks are not clean then you are addicted to pornography sex and masturbation and you are recklessly losing your vital semen and you are spilling it out of your body just for some momentary happiness and then you cannot stay without the opposite sex you cannot spend a day without getting any message from them and lastly opposite sex always insults tortures or uses or cheats you all right there you go these are the indications of a difficult terrible miserable down to ten venus and regarding the remedies that's a big video we will discuss on it and i have already made that video on remedies there's a video called uh, three remedies for venus or something it's in the playlist i think eternal love so you can go to my channel and you can type venus there it will appear okay three three level remedies for venus okay and in that i have explained in detail how to improve your venus what to do so if you want to know about that then please go and check that video okay and if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed then please subscribe to it below <laughs> and share this with those people who are in doubt if their venus is afflicted or not okay and if you want a personal consultation then approach me in my website below and if you like this video which you must have obviously liked then click the like button all right wish you good luck with your afflicted debilitated terrible miserable down to ten venus oh my god venus will kill me today <laughs> all right wish you good luck see you next time with a new series okay bye bye Ta-ta.